It's that time again, mouthpiece is in, cup check time, hard knocks and cheap shots. Uh, so UFC right now, a lot of things going on, but the, the, I guess the, the click friendly rumor right now is <laughs> Brock Lesnar. Uh, will he come back, won't he? Frank Mir said he'd love to welcome him back. Uh, I think deep down he wants to come back, and then the, uh, Brock's one of those guys from like the. Uh, he looks like he might have been more comfortable coming up in the Middle Ages, uh, you know, like be, you know, beating people down on the battlefield or whatever. I think deep down he wants to do it, but whether or not he can still do it, I'm not, I'm, I'm, I'm not sure. And frankly, right now he's got a sweet deal with WWE right now. I mean, he can choose his spots with WWE. He can come and go as he pleases, pretty much. Um, but if you look at the top ten division, I mean, you tell me Brock can't fight Orlovsky and beat him possibly. <laughs> I mean, uh, short of short of the action, short of Cain Velasquez, who's just an animal, short of JDS, and short of Fabrizio Verdun, you look at Mark Hunt, you look at Big Country, you look at Orlovsky, I mean, these guys are beatable. I mean, and, and age isn't a problem because, you know, most of the top 10, they're all in their mid to late 30s. I mean, it wouldn't be that much of a problem considering how Brock's career ended in the UFC against a juiced up Overeem, <laughs> um, coming off a surgery, you know, I can see why he would want to come back, part of the pride thing, you know, um, and for the UFC, I mean, economically, it's a good deal because he's the only, he's one of the few guys that can get a million buys on pay-per-view. Yeah, well, I mean, like him right here, Brock Lesnar is a draw. I mean, he draws in WWE, he draws in UFC. Um, whether or not he can still actually, you know, still put himself through the rigors of uh, what, what it takes to train for a UFC fight, that's still, that's still up in the air because that, that surgery did kind of change things a little bit for him. But I think if, uh, it'd be very interesting to see what happens when his, con when his contract finishes up at WrestleMania. So what else we got? Uh, moving on to boxing, uh, big fight this weekend. Uh, Triple G Golovkin's gonna be taking on Rubio. What do you think? Gennady Golovkin. I, I, first of all, I'm a Golovkin fan. I, I, I think the guy's a monster. I love watching him knock people out. I know we're in, we're in the Floyd Mayweather era of, of, of technical boxing, of making people miss. But it's kind of nice to see this throwback, you know, this Drago throwback where he just mauls people now. The knock against him is that he hasn't faced the best quality opponents, but when you're knocking people out and you got guys, guys like Carl Frock, who's a champion and a tough guy at that, avoiding you, mm. that kind of says something about Golovkin. I, I'm, I'm glad to see that he's also selling a lot of tickets in, in, in the West Coast. Uh, the Hispanic fans are really taking to Golovkin. Yeah, he takes after that whole, um, he has that, Mex that, that Mexican style to his uh, fighting, doesn't he? Yeah, he, he shouts out how much he loves that Mexican style. And, and you can see it, attack the body and the head will follow. Um, and, and he's, hey, he's becoming a draw now. He was going to California. He's, he, the place is sold out. You know, there was, that was one of the biggest knocks. Well, can he sell out outside of the East Coast? I mean, he's putting butts in the seats. So who's your pick? Oh, Golovkin, <laughs> Golovkin. He's gonna knock this guy out. Uh, we'll see this weekend. And moving on to wrestling, more of a setback uh, for Daniel Bryan. Looks like he is going to need that second surgery after all. It was looking for, uh, for a bit that he, that he was going to probably possibly avoid the Tommy John surgery that would have required him to miss uh, an ex even longer extended amount of time. But now it looks like he, that left arm strength really isn't returning right now, reportedly, and he's going to have to go on the knife, which could possibly mean that he'll return at some point, possibly in, in the spring next year. They're saying maybe WrestleMania 31. I don't think it'll be, I mean, Tommy John surgery takes time. We've seen that with pitchers. Um, and considering his frenetic and physical style, I mean, this is, I, I'm, I'm more concerned about, you know, Daniel Bryan, the person, than I am the wrestler, him coming back. I mean, especially coming off neck injury, now you got Tommy John. It, I, you know, it's well. Like, this, I mean, this is one of those things where I've never, I, I haven't seen the series of injuries like this set someone back this far uh, in, in in a while, really. I mean, for because I mean, we've seen we've seen guys come back from from, from neck surgeries. We've had your Steve Austin's and Edge and uh, Kurt Angle with theirs, but now here's the situation now where we were expecting him back in the spring, and now expecting him we back. back well, in the actually, fall they were expecting him back for the Rumble. Mm -hmm. And now it's looking like maybe if he's lucky, WrestleMania 31. But at this point, with all with all these setbacks, it's coming back further and further. Is he? I mean, do you think he's gonna have to hang him up? I hope not. But like I said, I'm more concerned about Daniel Bryan the person. You know, I I've, I've seen too many of my childhood wrestling heroes die. I'd rather I'd rather he'd be okay in life and can hold his kids than seeing him perform and do something stupid for the sake of my entertainment, but that's just me. Indeed. Okay, well, Daniel Bryan. And that wraps up this edition of Hard Knocks and Cheap Shots. Remember to tune next week for more. 
And to continue our conversation, remember to find us on LatinPost.com. Like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. I'm John Paul Salamanca, this is Edwin and we are punching out. <laughs>